Uh, Native Son is a coming of age story, um, di difficult subject matter. Can you talk about a time when you were coming up that you had to deal with something difficult? You know, it, it's, uh, it's hard for me to think of very specific anecdotes, but you know, I, I faced challenges growing up like many of us did. There are aspects of, of the protagonist's bigger uh, his life and his story and, and some aspects of, of, of how he viewed the world that, um, that matched some things that I felt uh, growing up. Now, not all of those things were similar, and we grew up obviously in different times, different levels of access, uh, and the different senses of, of agency and opportunity. But the fact that someone in 1939, growing up in abject poverty, a young black male could have a similar experience or a similar sensibility to a young black male who did not grow up in abject poverty. And in the early 2000s, well, God, I'm aging myself, the 80s and 90s uh, could have so many similar kind of characteristics and aspects to their experience. It's something that's, that really led me to wanting to tell this story. Last question, just in terms of the adaptation of classic, you know, novel, what was like, what, what really attracted you to You know, what, what attracted me to the book is honestly the complexity of the character and the existential journey that he takes, you know. I, I think that in some respect uh, the book has been misinterpreted by, by quite a few people and they don't take into account that this is just a story about a man trying to figure out how to become a man, right? And beyond um, the, the, the concerns that he had around race, class, etc., it's just a coming-of-age story and an incredibly complicated one. And that's the reason that I wanted to tell this story, because I think that those kinds of reflections, those kinds of opportunities, are things that if we don't get a chance to focus on them, then we miss the forest of the trees.